Hello, and welcome to this video covering Cycle Experience Commerce 9.3. This video is going to cover the guidance we provide to help developers set up their local instances and get up and running with Cycle Experience Commerce. In this video, we're going to cover three topics. The tooling provided, some example solutions showing what's possible with Sitecore Commerce, and finally, the guidance we provide to ensure developers create a robust solution which can last the time the customer needs. So let's take a look at the tooling that we provide to help developers get off on the right foot. Okay, so when you first download Sitecore Experience Commerce, you'll get a zip archive which contains all of the software you need to get it up and running. But there's a couple of other things that I want to drill down and focus in on, and those are the software development kits you get, which help you to set up your solution. The first one is the BizFX software development kit. BizFX is our shortened name for our commerce business tools, and it's an Angular application which the merchandisers use to manage all of their data. The BizFX SDK allows you to pull in that entire application into your solution to completely customize it for your specific needs. The next thing I want to show you is the Commerce Engine SDK. This one has a lot more features to it. And I just want to drill down into a couple of these. If we take a look at this sitecorecommerce.plugin, this is a Visual Studio extension. Visual Studio is the IDE that most developers would use when writing C Sharp code. This extension here makes it really simple for you to create plugin projects. When you create a plugin project using this shortcut solution, it gives you all of the stubbed out skeleton elements required for creating your customizations. At the bottom here, we also have a compiled HTML file. And this is the complete API documentation for all of the code provided with Psycho Experience Commerce. If we load this up, you can see that we get a complete breakdown of all of the different plugins, core elements, and entity views that make up Psycho Experience Commerce's functionality. So say, for example, I want to take a look at the orders functionality. I can load up the orders plugin and here I can view all the different classes that make up that functionality. I can also go down to each individual class and get detail on its constructors, all the properties, the methods, and the fields that are included in there, meaning you get a really comprehensive guide of what's provided out of the box and where you can hook in your extensions. If we jump back to this file listing, the last thing I want to highlight is the Postman scripts. All of the Psycho Experience Commerce functionality is provided via APIs. Postman's a tool that allows you to connect to those APIs and make raw requests to them to test your functionality. These scripts here allow you to import specific Postman calls so you can test any piece of functionality in the Commerce Engine. So I'm just going to fire up Postman to show you what I mean. I've already imported all of these scripts and you can see them listed on the left. So Let's say, for example, I just want to retrieve a product's details. I can scroll down, and there's example scripts for everything. So I can go into here, I can execute this, and here you can see the full product details has been returned. All of the data that's stored in the database for that product. And this is really important. It means you can test the commerce engine's functionality in isolation. And any customizations you write, you can create your own Postman scripts for, again, allowing you to test all of your custom functionality in isolation. So once the developers got their solution up and running, next we provide a series of example sites showing what is possible with Psycho Experience Commerce. We have the SXA storefront. This is provided by default when you initially install Psycho Commerce. It's a fully featured and functional storefront going all the way through from product creation through to checkout and inventory management. This gives the developer an example of exactly what's available out of the box and also how each of those features are built, allowing them to use those features for their customers' specific requirements. The next example solution we have is called Habitat Home Commerce. This is an open source solution available on GitHub today, provided by Sitecore. Developers can pull this down and it shows them how they can extend the out of the box functionality. It gives them examples of how to customize individual commerce features and gives them guidance on how to go about implementing the customizations required for the customers that they're working with. But we don't leave it there. We also provide specific guidance around how the partner should go implementing those customizations. For some years now, we've had our Cycle Helix guidelines. These guidelines ensure you end up with a logically structured solution 
which will allow you to continue to gain benefits as you add further customizations over time. These guidelines were also extended late last year to include specific guidance for commerce implementations, showing how commerce fits into the overall Sitecore ecosystem and your solution as a whole to make sure that the customers and partners are going to drive the best value they can from the products.